You know what? Take practicality and throw it out the window. The performance shop will tweak your ride to get the most horses and torque you need. Good day, Rotary Runners! I'm on silence and we're on the air with more Need for Speed Underground 2. It's episode 30 of Underground 2. Thanks for tuning in. Last time out, we bought a Mazda RX-7. Nice classic car. I think I told that story. Horsepower equals speed. So bolt on everything you can. Right here is the place to do it. And I think uh talked about that in the... Talked about that in the last... Or not in the last episode. In a few episodes ago, we've talked about the, that. That's what we need. Just go straight to the turbo. Spool up some extra power by installing a turbo kit. Straight to the stage two turbo. Get an extra almost 50 uh, 50 pa horsepowers. G ready, Turbonetics, Jackson Racing, HKS, Apex, Apex. Let's go with that. I've got a good feeling about that. Break the barriers of top speed by slimming your ride with a weight reduction kit. I got a good feeling about uh, weight reduction. Sparko, of course, the sponsor. So we're not too worried about... Your contact patch on the blacktop is crucial, so upgrade your rubber as often as possible. Yeah, it's just handling. It doesn't add any, uh, any acceleration, so... Nitrous oxide is the glycerin of the race world. Rack it under your hood to give your ride that extra power when you need it. And that's why we're going straight to the, uh, wet shot of nitrous. Venom, Nitrous Express, NOS! Let's go NOS. Don't need suspension. Hey, tighten your gearbox and shorten your throws by upgrading your transmission and relaying that power to the pavement. Now, here's the question. Oh, ECU, that'll be... If it was Gran Turismo, this would be the cheap one. Upgrade the brains of your ride by swapping out the stock computer with a super chip. Now, see, here's my question is, like, do I... Oh, we can put... Just go straight to the... Wow, look at that, the extreme package. Just go straight to that. We can't go back at this point. No, I can't. So the engine management unit. So let's go HKS. Fuel injectors. Venom sounds good. Now, my question is, is there's, there's still some benefits to... Some of these, right? So, like the street package, for example. Doesn't add a lot, but it adds a little bit. And fuel pressure regulator. We don't have much of a choice there. Let's go. New speed. I like them. Fuel filter. Okay, we'll do Apex as well. And then you can do the little fuel pump as well. See, it's little things like that, right? I don't think this is going to get me as much acceleration as I'd hoped for. Eh, that's not good. You can always give it a try. Who haven't we done yet? In Gen, we have not done that. And we haven't done Jackson yet, I don't think. Yeah, okay. Oops. So the question is, do I save? No. So it's cheaper to buy all the individual parts. I think. Yeah. All the individual parts that are better than... Okay, that makes sense. Anything else here? Yeah, well... Still in, I guess we're going with that. And then, oh yeah, we didn't buy any transmission parts. The question is, do you want to wait on that? Let me do the dyno. Things I never think to do, right? Every track has specific layouts to really push your car. 
tweak your suspension and jimmy the output before you hit the clay so you have the proper setup for the track. Throw your ride on the dyno and run it on the test track to make sure it's wired tight. None of that made sense. Max output of 400 horsepower. That's not too bad. And there's dyno results, but where does that set me up relative to the... Oh, never mind. I'm fine. Mode select, test run, tune settings. What can I tune? Yo, listen here. Your electronic control unit regulates air and fuel mixtures to your engine timing. Remapping the ECU gives you the ability to fine-tune engine power at each RPM and squeeze some serious power out of your ride. Know what I'm saying? No. It shows the amount of power the engine produces over the RPM range. Just the shape of the curve to move more power to the RPM range you will use the most in a race. So, like... So the question is, do you put it a little bit lower? Do you put it there? That's kind of top, dude. Yes, yeah, so the question is, where do you put it for... Where do you put your, your power band? Nitrous oxide. We're going B-I-G big. This here bottled up nitrous gas gives your ride a temporary boost of power when the cool gas is ejected into your engine. Tune it up, bro. Okay, so this... Do you go power or duration? See, I'd almost say go more in terms of adding the power. Because that was your default, so let's at least hit one slider over. You're in the right place now, bro. Turbo slam more air into your engine. More air equals more power. So get crazy and adjust the power at each RPM. I told you, this is getting big, yo. Yeah, there's problems. You can't, you have to... A little more there, but yeah, that'll drag up 4,000. That might actually not be a bad call there. I wonder what you need to unlock the drivetrain. See if we can't, uh... So what was that? So 15 seconds over how long? <laughs> so, yeah, it's... So we could get some practice in. So you're shifting are almost to just past nine. There we go. It's getting a little better. Once you're learning some stuff. So you're, what, like 9200 is where you're shifting. So you launch at about 85. You're shifting at about 92. Just short of 92, and or just around 92. I'm short shifted a lot there, but because you got to be careful because when you're running up in second gear, what you get is really close. It's like the red line, it, the limiter is at about 95, so you bounce right off that rev limiter really damn fast. So you got to be very good on that shift into second, because it's very hard to... Yeah, it's so much better when you don't bounce off that rev limiter. I didn't even touch the... 
This is going to be, uh, just from an ease of use perspective, this might be so much better than the Focus. Except, I don't know if this is quite what I need. And I don't think I missed anything that'll increase power. Well, I know. So I didn't buy anything transmission related. Let's spend some transmission dollars. Clutch Masters, of course. Oh, I've got a piece that is worse. Diff? Yeah. So just spend 500 on the... Eh, DC. And the flywheel. And an act flywheel. Alright, there we go. Tighten your ride and get rid of that stock suspension for firm hold and grip. I don't need a stock suspension. I think we're pretty good at this point. Yeah, we should be okay. I hope. Now we'll see how this goes, right? Takes a while to wind up, though. That's one of the tricks, is it seems to take a... It's got some hella turbo lag. Sounds great, though. Doesn't handle as well as... I mean, it handles nice, don't get me wrong. I like how it drives. It's not as stable as the Focus. Whoa! This I'm only really thinking about straight line. Spend all that money for an experiment, right? See, Mazda seemed pretty darn good, so... That was just bollocks. My, I mean, my entire drive has been utter bollocks. And... I... I finished second having chunked everything. <laughs> like, that start was atrocious and I still finished second, so I think I'm onto something here. I just gotta put it together, right? That was, that was a diabolical start, though. 198, that's not too bad. Oh, Stefan? Stefan blew his engine. I only had one perfect shift. That actually surprises me because I was doing so well on test track. All right, we can do this. How many times have I said that? Now I'm just sort of caught in the middle here. And now we're just going to have to dump that and hope for the best. But I think it might have worked. We're out of juice though. But it was enough juice. <laughs> it was worth. <laughs> Almost half a second victory in the RX-7. We've got 100 rep for that. That was, an ex that was a thought experiment. A $21,000 thought experiment, but it worked. Might actually have a car that goes reasonably... Well. Didn't even have to get it up to the same top speed. But it's hitting those... It's hitting... I feel much more comfortable with where the shifts are. The shift point's at 95 every time. And I've got the power band. I should have been paying attention. What I'll do is... What, we'll, what I'll do is I'll go back... And I'll take a look at it in the, in the video when I go to edit this. And I'll take a look and see where the shift drops me from 92 to where does it go. And maybe see if we can't move the power band and uh, for everything. Actually, you know what? Maybe moving the um, moving the band on the, uh, on the, whatchamahoosit, on the, on the nitrous probably didn't hurt either. But uh, yeah, I'll see where the power band goes when you shift. And that way if we move, if we just play with the power band ever so slightly there, see if that actually will impact anything as well. Yeah, that's a good start for the the old RX-7. I like it so far. Of course I do. Finished second and then won a race. Oh, what do we got? Rims! New rims. Okay, that's a thing. 
I was going to say, uh, watch it be like a new performance parts or some such like that. So. You know, I'd like to see how this does with like tires and all that on as well. So what have we got? What have we got? We've got two circuits, two drags. We just did one, one drift. Two sprints, one of which is a uh, sponsored, and one Street X. So we might, I know I just bought the RX-7, and I'm like, yeah, but I bought this for a drag car. So I might switch to, uh, back to the Focus. And then at that point, what we might do is go do that uh, sponsored sprint. Just punt him out of the way. Wah! You know, you've got a tune for... Dr so it drops to about... Sorry, I was just watching there. It dropped about 68 there. And then... Oh, and then about 75. Interesting. All right, hang on. Let's see. Okay, so then about 62. 68. Where's it going to go this time? 75. That's interesting. So you can't really... So what you really want is all your power to be concentrated in 6,000 plus. But maybe that's the problem with the, with the focus is just where the power band... Well, yeah. Maybe. Maybe a bit. Just all depends on where the power band is. I'm not gonna lie, I was not expecting it to be like... See, where's the acceleration for this? Right there. And the RX-7 isn't as high, it's, maybe it is just, just down to it, but it does have a higher top speed. There's the top speed for the Focus. And that's how much higher the RX-7 is, so maybe it comes down to that as well. I think it might just come down to the power band and how I tuned the RX-7 specifically for the drag race. That might be a big chunk of it. Now let's do this sponsored sprint. Where am I going? I don't know, I'm lost. And we still have to get one more star on this thing, don't we? Well, most of a star anyway. We need to get that six star rating for the DVD. Just throw some more stickers on the thing and we'll be fine. We're just going to take the uh, the shortcut here. As we come around. Don't get eliminated. Bye. There we go. Only a little kiss of the barricade. Oops. I was busy looking to see what the arena was. I'm assuming this is it. No, it's a drift. Oh god, no. Oh, we found a drift. There, there, good news. We found the drift. It's a hard pass on that one, but still. So here's our sprint. Taking us from Beacon Hill through to, well, back here. So I'm assuming we start here and then we move our way back over to Beacon Hill. Yep. It would only make sense if the if the lineup lineup spot was here then. And it's arm drop and away we go. So one big ass sprint from here to the other part of town. So we got through that turn a little better than... Oh, he tried to squeeze me, and now we're in trouble. And that gets tricky when people get homicidal on you. Oh my goodness. He is trying to wreck me. 
Like it is hard when, like, it's hard enough when they're they're racing you, hard and clean. But this there's there's nothing clean about any of that. Oh, gonna go the long way around. Wasn't expecting that. So we're just what almost two thirds. I was busy looking at at how far out we were and not paying attention to what I was doing, as you could tell. So what we'll do, we'll just run out the string. We'll just play out the string, just that way we could figure out where the hell we're going. See if there's a shortcut or something. Jump. And that was a shortcut. I could have gone a lot better, but make sure to crash into him at the line. Asshole. All right, here we go again. Maybe this time. Have to bail out so we don't run into the back of him. At least we got some nitrous boost for that. I don't know. Yeah, we did. We did send him packing, but after the last race, we owed him. That was closer than it looked on the screen. Because I had to make a quick snap to the right to avoid hitting that divider in the middle there. So we got the car on the highway. And we're going to wind it up. Could have uh, woed her up a bit more there. We're going to stay on. We're going to stay with traffic this time, guy. I've spun it. Yeah. He got dumped again. And we are drafting. We're going to jump cam it into the that well I'll dump the rest is not gonna make a difference oh no <laughs> and across oh we're flying turned into super day for a minute there one more go Third time lucky, right? His arm dropping away, we go. We're gonna fall in line behind. Hell, I'll take anyone at this point. This as long as we get credit for a slipstream, I would be happy. What the hell is that? We got caught up in an invisible wall that sapped all our momentum. Get through there, fine. You guys all have the same rear bumpers. Oh god, that was not an invisible barrier that we hit. I was all sorts of out of shape going in there. Now we gotta think about catch up time. As long as they're doing stupid shit three wide like that. Avoided accident, well, well, captured game. There we go. And we'll make the cut across here. Get a little boost coming out. Now this is taking an awful big risk, Vader. This is better work. I'm pretty sure that, I know I was gonna hit the side of it, I don't think I was, I don't think I ever hit the front of that, but. 
So what we'll do is we'll just dump this so we could try and pick up some rep. So there we go. And across the line, almost four seconds. 3.8. So, yeah. Not too bad. Third time lucky, like I said. Only 200. Ah, well. Extra two tenths would have gotten us the extra 100 rep. Take a quick under at the race stats. Yeah. Nobody... Not a lot of uh, space to wind up the car. So, I mean, that, you know, tight confines and all that. You kind of expect that on the streets. It is street racing, after all. All right, that went well. Now what? Spoilers! The new inventory of the sickest spoilers to hit the streets are now available at any Bayview body shop. Thank you very much. All right. So that is all our sponsor obligations done. Uh, let's take a look at this. So we've got... Two more URL that we need to win, one more DVD cover to unlock, and uh, six more world events. So. Oh yeah, there's the uh, Drifto here. I think we'd be better off. Do you think we can make that quick swap? There's no just straight to switch car, no? Gotta go jump to the garage? I think the Supra would be the best call for that. We're just gonna drive everything today, how about that? And plunks us right where we were. Yeah, so I, I that that's the thing, is being able to just pick up and pick up and go like that, so. If we drive everything and win with everything today, with everything in the garage today, it'd be a pretty good day, I'd say. I'd call it a good day. So we're starting shotgun on the field, which is where you want to be. Man, that didn't go as well as I'd hoped. There we go. Call superb drift, but I, I question that. Not great, but passable. Because they've got a lead on me, so... Snap it back around. Spun it a bit. Where are we last? And about to get lapped to boot. Not good. You know what? I think we should probably try this one again. It's a good idea in theory, but... That's nice that you can actually, like, kind of get it all... All wound up from a standing start, so... There we go. There. Now we can start linking some together. Uh, couldn't let me link all those together, though. But we did take the lead there for a little bit, so... drifts happening there. Oh, there's a colossal one. 19600, there we go. This is exactly what we're looking for. So we're up by... Well, no, we're down by 8 now.
We're closing in though. We're 800 down. 700 down, sorry. Now we've taken the lead. There we go, 79,000 and across the line with the win. Win by almost 5,000 points. Really, that's not enough to get any rep. I tell ya. I assume my average speed was catastrophic compared to everyone else, but I did have that one big drift that kind of broke it open there. So, that's the important thing. Sometimes you just... Oh. Was that the one I was looking for? Not much of a burnout, but a little bit of a burnout. There's two of these here. I mean, I'll take it. I mean, helps get that number up. It helps get that number up, and that's that's a big. I was just gonna say that's a big one, but that's like half a mile. It looks big compared to the rest of them. So you want to see if we can't do two in a row for the drift again? Oh, I didn't realize there were Formula D banners in the background. I assume Formula D still exists. Let them get a bit of a start. Well, that didn't go well. We just have to deal with the Mustang. Oh, come on. I've been thrown off by a Mustang in my way. So now we're actually going to pass someone. Is this like the first time I've ever passed someone? In drift? If it isn't, it's got to be pretty damn close, right? Now here's the scary thing about this one, is there's a lot of opportunity for... There's a lot of opportunity for drifting. Let him get going first. I don't think this is going to work. Let's try this one again. It's, e it's amazing how easily you could get just a little thrown off by things, right? And again, same thing. Same thing, just get dumped early on. And someone else got dumped as well. This time we didn't spin. Well, okay, now we did. Even if the game doesn't think I spun, I still think I spun. How are you doing? I think that's where I spun the first time by two. We're sitting, we're sitting in second though, so that's not terrible. Big fifteen thousand. Oh, that's still not enough. Guy got in my way. Ah, that's gonna hurt. I don't know how far ahead Amy is, besides 8,000 points. Now, see, I'm busy watching the scoreboard as opposed to watching where I'm going. That switch back there, taking the lead. And lost the lead. Gotta hold on to that one. And we hit, did take the lead. 
There we go. Hi, how's it going? A lot of concentrating happening on that one. A lot of concentrating happening on that one. So just under 9,000 margin of victory. And still not enough for rep. What you gotta do to buy some rep here? So, actually, you know what? Cons compared to the last one, we were con doing considerably better in, our ter in terms of our pacing compared to that she lost a lot of pace, but then she made a big good comeback there too, so. That one was a close one, that's for sure. Oh, and new suspension at Bayview Performance Shops, in case you were looking for it. So with that out of the way, now we are two URL, one DVD cover, and four world event wins. And uh, uh, conveniently enough, there is another URL that is on the menu as well. So what's left? There's two drags left, a URL, and then it's one of the, no, two circuits. So, so next time out, we got to do circuit, a drag, and a URL. And then we'll see where we go, because the rest all have one left. But yeah, there's plenty enough for us to be able to finish up next time, or not, maybe not, uh, if not next time, maybe the time after that, so. Definitely getting close to the end of uh, this section of Need for Speed Underground 2. Question is, what awaits us on the other side of Coal Harbor? It's easier with the super than it is the focus. <laughs> I guess we'll find out how this continues to go on next time on Underground 2. But until we see you again, I'm on silent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new. Share on social media, follow on social media, and social media handle is unsilent on air, and that is for Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Tumblr. Don't forget to check out more Need for Speed Underground 2 in the playlist. It's on the screen in the description down below, and more videos in time on the channel page. And until the next time, I'm unsilent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like, share, subscribe, and we will see you next time.